Now it's a fucking war. It's time for Carter and Norma to go. They've been plotting against me. Fucking with our business. Tariq, you'll have to take out Carter. I'm fucking tired of those motherfuckers thinking they can stand against me. The fuck you gonna do now, Tariq? What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J and we are locked in. This is my last thoughts for episode nine. Married to the game. Now you've seen the trailer and we also got some photos from Diana's Instagram where we're going to see that the wedding is taking place this week and we're going to see if the family can stick together or fall apart. What is that old saying? The family that prays together stays together. Well, this family that traps together falls apart and goes to jail together. Now, before we jump into this and I get my last thoughts about what we think is going to happen, if you like predictions, breakdowns, theories of the power series, then you're at the right spot. We got two episodes left. Make sure you tune in tonight for Are We Ready? Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and make sure you hit that like button for me. So let's go ahead and jump into these photos and also give a couple of predictions of what we think is going to happen in tonight's episode. We are going to see a wedding reception this week, and let me tell you, the outfit Diana got on, nice. She zipped up, but that means one thing, she might be ready to go. Remember, she went from the innocent Diana to the dirty Diana, AKA Columbiana. And we also seen in the trailer that her and Drew, they are gonna get some things popping. And if you can look at the dynamic dummies and how they're looking at this wedding, they're either I and Kane or they're looking at Noma. One way or another, they're gonna make their move this week. And as I keep mentioning, it might not be good for Drew. This might be his last episode, but we have seen that Drew, totally different. He's going out with a bang. Diana, she's trying to stand on business. I don't know how her relationship is with Tariq moving forward since he didn't want to have another baby with her, but we know that these two, they're going to be on go and they ready for whatever. At the wedding, we do see some familiar faces. Guess who showed back up? Janet. We all been wondering where she was at. Well, she's back. So that means her and Monet, they're going to have to get some things popping and get at Noma because I know one thing about Janet. We know that she was snitching on Monet back in the day to Lorenzo, but she's always had Monet's back because Monet wanted to be like her. So I think she's gonna repay the favor and she might be the one that puts the bug in Monet's ear about having to make moves on Noma, letting her run up in here and marrying your son. Or you need to use Kane and start to try to get Noma's businesses from up under her. Drew, he clean as hell. Of course, we know Diana's looking good, but Drew, look at him. He ain't smiled in none of the photos that we've seen this week. He's truly embedded in the game and he's on Detective Don Carter's side. So he's trying to bring down whoever, whenever, however. This looks like they're getting ready to have that dinner and the photos that we've seen drop where Kane and Noma were sitting there. And we do notice that Diana is gonna be sitting next to Anya. One thing we know about Diana, when it comes to a dinner table, she's ready to expose it all. So she could give up that, hey, Anya, your mama's in the dope game. That's why she's messing with Kane. We also know that Monet doesn't really want Kane to be around Noma. She'd rather have him on her side, even though she's throwing him under the bus. So that's probably what this conversation is. This might be the dinner before the actual marriage. That's what I'm thinking it is. And she's like, Kane, are you really gonna go through with this? And he's like, mom, this is my wife. You're gonna have to respect it. This is what it is. It's just business, but I'm still getting married. Now, Monet on the other hand, they still need to get this leverage or they're in a deep S-H-I-T with the murdering of who? Well, you know who. Diana caught a body. So now Don Carter is holding that over their head with Felicia. So it's really looking like this week's episode is gonna be focused around this wedding and everyone choosing a side. Because remember, let's break it down. Noma, Don Carter going after Tariq. Tariq, Monet, Drew, Diana have to get leverage on Noma so they don't get framed for that Felicia body. Kane is kind of in between, but we know that Kane is leaning towards Noma's side and we have to see where Anya is going to be. Is Anya going to get closer to Kane? Is she going to find out about her mom and then try to flip and everybody turn on Noma? Or is she going to support her mom and maybe Kane come over there and help out? It's going to be a crazy episode. We do have to have a major prediction for at least a death from one of the main characters, but I really wanna see how this wedding is gonna work. Is Noma still gonna underestimate Kane, or is Kane gonna finally 
step outside of the box and make moves that no one expected. The reason I say make moves that no one expects, right now it's looking like Effie is gonna get out of here. But Kane is still trying to keep her around because he knows that maybe Noma has something up her sleeve. She is messing with Davis. This is just a quote unquote business deal. Now Effie on the other hand, we know she has Kane wrapped around her thumb. Anytime she says something, Kane is gonna come crawling back and do whatever it takes. True definition of by any means necessary. Rather that's getting her money to get up out of school, rather that's him paying for the school, letting Noma know that Effie is actually valuable. Now Effie, she's been stringing Kane along. We got two episodes left. Is she gonna continue using Kane or is this gonna be her final stepping stone that she can step away from the game and leave everything on everyone else's plate and she can walk away with her hands clean and a little bit of money in her pocket. And lastly, Noma has her green card. She's about to become a citizen. I don't know if it's gonna be a time jump, probably about a week or two weeks to jump into the wedding. I don't think she would get her citizenship that fast, but in TV the world, she might have it. So I think this is her brother that she's talking about and he's finally here for the wedding and she's like, listen, we're about to get this. We're going to make some moves. We're going to be getting money. I might be putting you in charge. Now that might be bad. And as we revert back to what I was speaking about, Kane, maybe Anya helps Kane and Tariq and everybody set Noma up and get her out of here. Maybe if he gets put in charge of her business, this would make Kane upset about Noma and which will make him turn on her. And that's what I mean by Kane stepping up and doing some things that we would typically think would be unexpected for Kane. I don't know. We're going to find out. So I think this is her brother. He came up for the wedding. She has citizenship. She's getting contracts. She's probably letting them know, hey, we back in business. All right. There you go. My last thoughts about episode nine. What are your predictions for who is going to be on the live this episode? We have two left. We know it's got to be something big happening this week. And definitely for the finale, we got to go out with a bang. So let me know what you think about it. Tune in tonight for Are We Ready? I'm Odi J. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out.